Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can animate objects in Flux. There's two ways to animate objects in Flux, by creating animations or by using events that affect the transform directly. Let's start by looking at the latter one first. To start, let's create a sequence and drag the cube we're going to animate. We want it to go from the left to the right of the sphere, but always moving around the sphere and facing it. To do so, let's add a twin position event. We want the cube to go from the left to this midpoint. Then we need to add another twin position that will take it from the midway point to the right. Now we need to adjust the easing so that the first one only has ease in and the second one is out. Finally, we add the rotation event that will span the whole sequence rotating from 0 to 180 degrees. This is the good thing about twins. You can easily do animations that don't require any extra assets nor components and it still has access to some easing curves. However, you can see that this animation doesn't move as nicely as it could around the sphere. We wanted to try to maintain this radius from the sphere, but in order to do that, you need to add even more points along the way, because you don't have a lot of control over the twinning curves. The solution to this problem is adding animations instead of twin events. So first, let's create a new sequence. Let's drag the cube and add the play animation event. As you can see, this is already a bit more complex. Not only you have to set up the event, but there's also the track that needs extra information. In this case, what animator controller this sequence will use for the cube. You could just create your controller manually, however, let's use the shortcut button in the inspector. Next, we need to add an animation. Again, if you already have an animation, you could simply drop it inside this event. But since we don't, let's just click create. We now need to scrub the sequence so that the animator controller gets assigned to the object. The reason for this is that Unity's animation window needs to have a controller in the object in order to be able to edit the animations. Now in the animation window we can see and edit the animation. Let's start animating the cube the way we want it. Set the starting position in rotation. Now the end point. And finally, the midpoint. If you look carefully at the Flux editor, you'll see that this track has an eye icon next to it. Unfortunately, at the moment in Unity, if you scrub animations, they will always dirty the scene. So, in order to prevent that, we added this toggle preview icon in the animation tracks. When you click it, not only will you start seeing the animation preview in the scene as you scrub, but also you can now see a line of the path of that object. However, this sequence still isn't behaving like we want it to. But since we're using animations, we can now simply edit these animations in the animation window. Notice that when doing that, the path is adjusted in real time, so you can see just how your changes will affect the whole motion, instead of having to scrub back and forth. Now we have the animation behaving just like we wanted it, so even though at the moment it is a bit more cumbersome to use animations in Unity, it gives you far more control over the results. Not only that, but if you choose, you could also append other curves to this animation, like changing color over time. Finally, I'd like to show you something regarding the animation workflow. Flux is about creating a flow of events, so you don't have to be super accurate when you're working. A lot of times when you're creating animations, you decide to change timings, which is something that if you're familiar with in Unity is quite cumbersome at the moment. Flux makes it easy for you to scale your animations. It not only automatically adjusts the animations when tweaking the events, but it also takes care of them when resampling the frame rate, 
adjusting both keyframes and their tangents in order to make this workflow as smooth as possible. Hope you enjoyed this demo.